Welcome back, guys, to another self made based video. I'm Ian. I'm Jay. I'm Mac. And today we're bringing you another smock smoke product. Smoak. I told y'all it's smock apple. Smock up. S M O K product. Smock ellipse. Ellipse. Smock ellipse. But, yes, smock ellipse. Uh, we're doing a couple tonight. So let's go ahead and look at this. Today we're we'll bringing you the Alien Kit by Smock. So, this is something I purchased. I've actually come out of pocket recently and started buying a crap ton of stuff because, well, it was, you know, kind of He's feeling overdue. generous. Yeah, overdue. Then we need content, and, you know, we've been kind of slacking. Max looking at getting a house. Ian's looking at being an adult. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, let's go ahead and look at this uh, dive down, see what we have. Here we have the packaging. It's nice. Uh, you know, standard smock, smoke products or uh, packaging. Alien logo looks familiar, guys. Yeah, does it? Maybe. It does to me. Yeah. Maybe saw a movie or a couple. <laughs> Might be a franchise. <laughs> a series. Copyright infringement on the on the uh, font. <laughs> uh, nothing Lily there. Scott. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get sued. <laughs> it's never a video unless you know Bring there's it on. some sort of copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, QR codes. And then on the back, we've got specs. And uh, this is a 220 watt mod, and this kit actually includes the Baby TFV8 uh, tank. So if y'all haven't checked it out, we actually have a review quick to the point. If you want to see what the tank is about, that's a review to watch. This is really going to highlight the kit itself, specifically the mod, since we've already done the TFV8 uh, review. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we got. Again, um, scratch to reveal authentic authentication. Scratch and sniff. Scratch and sniff. I didn't even realize I had that. Look at that. Okay, anyway. I'm not going to scratch it because... I don't care about that. i got to save my fingernails for scratching something later. Uh, take Whoa, the packaging huh? Out. What? TMI, bro. TMI. TMI. As a guy, you know, you get those natural itches and that not-so-fresh feeling. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't want to know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> That's what the doctor tells me every time I get a physical... <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open this package and what we got here. I've got the red one. Why? Because I have uh, my computer gaming rig and my gaming laptop that matches this. It matches this temper red. Lame, yes, I know, but at the same time, I am sort of a, a, a nerd and I like to game every now and then, so yeah, that's what I do. It's red and black. I like the color fit. Betty sucks at Street Fighter. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Whoops. Anyway, so black, red, nice. Uh, edibles, right there, let's set that aside. <laughs> no, not edible. This will kill you. It won't kill you. So, device itself, in fact, you know what? Let's put that down. We're going to look at the device in a minute. Let's see what else is in the box. Open it up. It won't kill you, Ian. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Drink it for, the, uh, eat it for the video, Ian. It won't kill you, right? So, that's Deskin, by the way. Don't consume it. We, di we digress. Mac digress. So, um... This crap side, we'll see the mod in a second. Packaging, we open it up. We've got this pamphlet. Uh, first one is a QR tag. Show the past. Paste. And then we've got, ooh, we've got a little warning. Um, Do not vape. <laughs> it says caution. Do not use broken <laughs> insulating skin batteries in all smoke products. Hmm. Otherwise, we will not be responsible for any damages caused by using substandard battery. And then on the back, it's nice because it actually shows you what you should vape on. Guys, if you've been vaping for a while, you know to use good batteries. Make sure your shit's wrapped. It's good to go. Vaping safety. Yes, vaping safety. Holy shit. I have a couple of batteries that look like that. The one with the check or the X? None of your business. Yeah. Just kidding. Again, we need a viral video. <laughs> and Mac is the one that's going to get us that viral video. <laughs> so we've got the pamphlet. It's got, it, I mean, it's a nice presentation, you know, um, is it color or is it black and white? Oh, we've got red and black and white. What else we got here? Any more colors? The paper is white. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We got black, red and white again with some stainless, which is just a palette of black and white. Black and white, black and white, black and white, some red. Oh, yeah. Let's see. No ice there. All right. We know this will teach you how to use it, but most of you guys that have vape know what it's about. And then inside, we have a charge cable. We have a tank, replacement tank, replacement coil. And the TFE8 baby tank, and you know what? Let me take this coil out and let's see the goodie bag. It might be similar to the TFE8 baby, and it is. You've got the silicone top, O-rings, 
uh, orange O-rings in lieu of um, the red that's in the tank. And one thing to note, guys, is if you purchase this as a kit, the kit is going to come color coordinated, uh, or the tank is going to come color coordinated with the with the mod you have. So if you buy red, which I did, it comes with red O-rings. What I've heard is that if you get gold, you get like a yellowish, goldish ring, black, black rings. It's, it's champagne color. Champagne. Get it right. Look gold to me. It did. The manufacturer called it champagne. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and we got vape bands. Orange, black, Halloween style. And tank, I'm going to take it out. We've already done a review in this tank, so there's no point in actually taking it apart. If you want to check out and see what this is about, check out our other review, TFEA, Baby Beast. Um, but yeah, this actually had has some juice in it because I've aped on it. I didn't see any reason to take it apart since, um, you know, we already did a review. Go and screw it on the device. Pretty and then we'll kind of look at the device itself. Let me put this nice cable. That is a sexy device. Sexy. Yeah, it's hot. On the streets. Yeah, I think it's probably the most badass compact dual 1860 650 mod that uh, I've seen. And and it was released after uh, what August eighth. Yeah. 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 So what what's the deal with after, that? Let us, after D Day. After D Day. Let us know. Yeah, it seems like the product's coming out after we got the vaping regulations. <laughs> <are better>. Fuck <laughs> you, FDA. <laughs> Fuck you. What, what's but at the, the same logic time, thank behind you. Behind that, like, let us know what's the logic. So. Uh, Device itself, it's nice, it's lightweight, it's very uh, ergonomic. Big firing button right here. Nice pronounced click. It's a panel. Awesome, like the XQ firing Yep, panel. we've got the red accent here, which is a plastic accent that's color-coded. We've got carbon fiber with the smoke branding, Alien 220. Uh, we've got vent holes in the top. Look at that screen, though. And the screen, I've got the protector on it, probably going to keep it on there. So for this review, I'm not going to take it off, just because. we got buttons right here for selections. Again, all of this is very clicky and pronounced. It's got a very plastic feel, but at the same time, I mean, it, it doesn't really take away much from the device. But for those of you that are used to something solid as far as a heavier mod, this may, this may be, I don't want to say a con, but it may se seem like it takes away from the quality, but don't let that fool you, you know. Keeps it lightweight. Yeah, it keeps it lightweight. That's part of the reason, I'm assuming, cost as well, why they went with this construction. But put batteries in, two 18650 Emirates, boot it up. Five clicks turns it on. I haven't updated the firmware or done anything. Alien, look at that. Ooh, so it even nice. zims in and out. Look yep. at that. And that badass screen. Dual yep. battery monitors, yep. amps, wattage, um, volts. Is that a heart rate monitor? <laughs> Puff count. I mean, there's a lot of things. In fact, a pyrometer. So if you see the menu in the close up, we got puff count. You can reset settings. Let's go in settings, hold the bar down. Screen time, screen lock. Contrast. I've got it turned all the way up. Adjust ohms for your temperature control, guys. Download firmware. The adjust ohm is like a TCR deal? Yeah. So you can lock in your resistance. Um, stealth for you, for you guys that don't like the uh, flashy screen. Uh, screen time says how long the screen's on. And again, this is just changing on its own. It's timing out and changing and going through it. And then we're back at the main menu. Um, <clears throat> to change the wattage, We hold it down and see how fast it scrolls all the way up to 220 oh, and then scroll down it goes watt by watt and it scrolls down fast down to six so i'm going to put this at 60 watts oh shit i was going to put it at 60 watts uh there you go 60 watts wow that's amazing i hit it all right so it's it's the alien kick you read your mind yep whatever <laughs> drink after that one so I think this is a great kit it's bundled with TFE8 again if you don't know about the TFE8 uh, baby beast check it out we've got a review Ian purchased it before I got this kit and uh, he's said nothing but great things about it in fact you'll see all of our opinion if you watch the review but here you know this is to highlight the device itself so smoke has uh, re released a very solid device it, it's compact it's uh, actually smaller than the cuboid, and if you guys have watched our videos for a while, we uh, constantly talk about the cuboid. Both weight and form factor, this thing is lighter and smaller in dimensions. How does it compare to the two and three? In fact, that's a good. That's a good. I think it's a little bit shorter. So two and three is slightly taller. That's impressive. And two and three they is. They both can fit the twenty-five millimeter tanks easily. About the same 
dimensions there in width. Yeah, so it'll fit a 25 millimeter tank without it being um, I'm getting one. I'm buying awkward. one tomorrow. So I was going to get... <laughs> I was going to get the 213, but I decided to uh, hold off and get the alien kit because, you know, I, I started boxing up some of the mods because it's just cluttering my desk, and I'm starting to focus on the ones I use constantly. In fact, uh, again, thank you, Gearbest. I'm using this Pico. This is my daily go-to with the 26650. Um, again, this was provided by them. This is not to say that I'm doing this because I'm advertising for them. They didn't pay us any money. They just sent us this device, which we appreciate. In fact, this wouldn't have been anything I would have reviewed. Unless they sent it. So yeah, we, we would have never purchased that product, but... I'm glad they sent it because... cool. I, I yeah. might have. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have got... I wouldn't have purchased it, but it seems like it's a good product. So again, if anybody wants to send us something to review, we'll do it. So back to the star of the show. We have, again, the Alien. Screen is one of the biggest features, in my opinion, beyond the form factor and the cool looks. Uh, it's a very bright screen. It shows... It has a lot of information on it. Um, as far as basic vaping, you know, it gives you your battery... Uh, your battery capacity for both batteries, independent of one another, your wattage, and what's cool is you can actually customize your vaping experience, even with uh, Canthal builds. So you can go from a soft, normal, or hard vape, which means that it's gonna ramp up the voltage quick, it's gonna ramp up the voltage normally, or it's gonna kind of soft, or slowly and softly go into your voltage. So, enough talking, let's go ahead and vape on it. I like to hold it like this in my hand, and then squeeze on it. Oh, I should open up the air holes. <coughs> Not want to do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Show, show them how you, uh, you hold it again. Why? And describe to the camera again. He said, I like the... To hold it like this and squeeze on it. <laughs> <laughs> Mac has had a few drinks. I'm sorry. My mind is always in the gutter. Not the gutter kicked his ass out <laughs> somewhere else now. But as you can see, I'm not a small dude, but at the same time, you know, it, um, it's not a very big device. And I like that. And the fact that it supports such a high wattage. I've got Emmerns in here. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but they're... Um, I'll actually show you guys because most people don't really look at the batteries. He's a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Imran's Imran. Uh, 1860, 25 m, 100 mAh, 40 amp max. These are authentic. At least China said they were authentic. <laughs> you think they're authentic? I paid authentic pricing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, again, turn it back on. I like the dimming. And I, uh, I think this actually has a uh, plastic cover on it. So if you can pick up or see from the reflection the slight scratches on it, it's because it still has it. There it is. It still has the protective uh, cover on it, which I haven't removed. My understanding is that some of the prototypes that were provided to some of the big, big guys in the vaping game that get this stuff for free, which you know I paid for this, um, had mentions that you know that it didn't come with a screen protector, and some of them had some scratch screens. But this does come with the screen protector, and uh, you know I haven't pulled it off because it just, this is the production version. Yeah, this is the production version. So got this from Breezy. They shipped it over in two days. We're not sponsored. They didn't provide this to us for free. This is something that I bought. Fifty-five bucks coupon codes. Uh, what is it? Vaping. Wait. Cheap dot vaping deals dot com. Uh, not vape dot deals, which is normally what we go to, but another good website oh, like resource. Cheap or cheap dot vaping yeah, deals yeah. Dot com or something like that. That's uh, so that's where I saw the deal. I went to Breezy, put the coupon code in, fifty five bucks shipped to my door, two days, good to go. So yeah, the device is solid. I like it. It's very versatile. I haven't heard anything about people saying the temperature control is crap, like the two thirteen or two one three. Fuck I. Yeah, the fuck I. We fuck did a review on. <laughs> At the same time, though, in the fuck I's defense. We don't vape a lot of TC builds, so for as far as straight wattage and form factor, which is a lot of what we do, it does the job. And this actually one-ups it because it does the TC stuff right. So And it just looks cool as hell. I mean, hell yeah. Let's just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the carbon fiber, the red and black, this, this did it for me, you know. And then, again, as I stated earlier, if you purchase the kit with the tank, the tank itself comes with color-coordinated O-ring, color-coordinated O-rings. So if you get red, you got the red O-rings. If you get black, 
champagne. I think that's a great one too. Those sly yeah. turkeys over at Smock know what they're doing. Yes. Good marketing, good product, nice design, nice packaging. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think out of this new genre of compact dual 18650s, the the ones that I really think of are the 213, this one and the 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 Cuboid. To me, this is the champ right now. This is this is holding it down. In yeah. fact, for the longest time, this was on back order at a lot of places. And it's not just because of the hype and it being a new product, but it's legitimate. It's legitimate. I mean, it's it's a good product. I vaped on this for a few days. I've taken it to work. I really have nothing bad to say about it. Um, and in fact, again, I've retired my cuboid, and this is my go-to. So this is going to get the crap beat out of it. And it may have some more wounds. We'll see. And if it does, I'll just buy another one. Well, not the same kind, but whatever else is new for the market. But the fact that they actually couple this with a TFE-8 Baby Beast, it's a, it's a good balance. So for those that aren't looking for something that's going to singe your lungs like the TFE-8, we're good to come, or um, something that's too, too much of a casual vape, which I wouldn't say my Griffin is a casual vape. It's a good vape, but at the same time, it doesn't blow clouds like this. Now, granted, the Griffin does do half a mil more, but when, when you compare it to how short this is, but you know, it's compact, not, a, not a fair compare, not an apples to apples comparison. It's not. Those nope. are, that's an RBA. That's a pre rolled, um, pre made coil. Pre made coil, right. So, again, know what you're buying. You're buying a device that comes with pre built coils or pre made coils. You're going to have to replace the coils. You get anywhere from two to four weeks for your average vapors out of a coil. Coils cost about four bucks. Um, there, there is an RBA base for this, for this tank. There is. Right, it but did, it's not going to blow the same clouds as it does with that. Right, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, no. Probably not, but again, for those people looking to rebuild for a, for a more subtle vape. Budget vape. Yeah, and if you have wire and you just like to tinker, it's it's not a bad dive in. So it kind of caters to all markets. Um, but again, in the in the way that it's presented with the pre-built coils, this is one of those where I can confidently say if I have a back of coil sitting in my pocket, I go to the bar, I got 30 mils of juice, and I'm going out for two or three hours of drinking, I have no reservations about taking this, an extra pair of batteries, an extra coil, my juice, going out, and if something bad happens, I get too drunk, and I accidentally dry fire this thing and burn the crap out of the coil, doesn't take much to replace the coil. Again, you'll see from the TFVA baby review, tank review, that uh, the coil was easy to put on. Now all we need is the 26650 version. Smock, hint, hint. Yeah, it's going to be like this. <laughs> you need both hands. You need a tripod and shit. And again, not to digress, but this is 26650, and I'm sold in the form factor simply because of the the capacity I, I vaped on this now again this is casually vaping and by casual i mean like commutes to work and back at home whatever so it's There's not chain vaping casual at all. about his vaping at all he um, he does what we call vooping and I'll let y'all figure out what vooping means. Yes, it's so there's, nice. there's nothing casual about his vaping style. I find that the vooping adds flavor in like an essence to the vooping. Uh, the, 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 the <laughs> that that most it doesn't, you know. So just take it as you will. Look it up if you don't know about it. Earthy tone. Yeah, I get those subtle tones that I normally don't. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's like peanuts. I don't know why I'm y'all's friend. What the hell's wrong with y'all guys, man? I don't know why we're your friends. Y'all are sick. Sick. So, again, back to this, sorry for digressing. So, again, form factor, lightweight, dual 18650, 220 watts, temperature control, carbon fiber, red, color coordinated with the tank with the kit. Compact. Compact. This tank does well with this. It's a great pair. Uh, this is something that you need to have in your arsenal if you're one of those that need to buy something or like to buy something every now and often. This is something to put on your list. Christmas time is around the corner. Guys, gals, whatever, ask your significant other to put this on the Christmas list if you can't get it right now. Uh, again, Breezy, 55 bucks, coupon code now if you have the time or money. Uh, it's in stock in a lot of places now. They've kind of kept up with demand. So uh, Yeah, by, by now it's, it's in stock in a lot of places. Yeah, there's a lot of places to have it, 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 but people are catching on quick, so they're buying them out quick. And I like the fact that you can diversify your, uh, your tastes with the color. And there's enough of a color palette where it should cater to most. Now there ain't no hot pink. Sorry, Mac. You know I know you like Cadillacs and hot pink and whatever else. Your lipstick. What? Yeah. So fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> no fuck I. <laughs> fuck I. So. Oh yeah, that's solid, and it's good flavor. It's not like that high wattage, massive vapor vape where where you just get no flavor. This tank is good, and again, paired up with this, this is a great kit. 
you know what? It's getting a thumbs up for me. Matt? I don't own the products. The only question that remains to be seen is um, longevity. You know, how does it handle the way we treat our mods? You know, close up. We destroy our mods. Beat the hell up. Yeah, we beat them up badly, like a redheaded stepchild. So <laughs> that's the only question that we that remains to be seen. But other than that, form factor, size, the screen, the options that come with the product, the name behind it, the pedigree, all thumbs up. It, it's getting two thumbs up for me. Two thumbs up for Mac. And Ian, what do you think? Uh, the screen is, is phenomenal. It's just a bright, vivid, and a, and a fairly large screen for the... In proportional to the device itself, it's a large screen. Uh, I, I'm loving it right now. I'm going to get my own. Uh, you'll probably see it in a future video. Yeah. Um, gets three thumbs up from me. Yeah, in fact, all, in fact, you'll probably see all of us vaping on this yeah. mod here in the near future. So. It's the next cuboid. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, again, I have to retire mine because it, it looks like butthole. I mean, it's bad. So, you know, it, it, lived, its, it lived its life. It served its purpose. Served its purpose. Love that device, but you know, with evolution and time, things change, things get better, and this I think might be the step up for us. So, uh, again, we're this is a device we bought or I bought. This isn't anything we're endorsed by. Smoke has yet to give us anything for free, but you know, we'll gladly accept and review it and give an honest opinion if you do. So but, make sure you don't send us any crap because we'll review it as crap. But you know, <laughs> I don't think Smoke has really produced a. Crap. They don't really they have, have any have bad it. things. They have it. Yeah, Smoke's products have been pretty solid. And I've got. Several TFE4s, several TFRTAs. I've got the TFV8 baby, the actual TFV8, which we'll show here in a new, re, re, you know, upcoming review. He secretly works for Smoke. Shit, no. They're a very consistent brand. They know what they're doing. They make good products. I mean, they've been around since I started vaping, like six years ago. Like they were making products way been back. Been that long? Yes. Yeah, but the TFV4 um, put them on the map, and they stayed on the map. Yeah, so. the TFV was, I think that was like the yeah, breakout. Just, it just that, went from there. that was my first sub ohm tank, for those of you guys that don't know, that uh, I first vaped on it, and I was like, what the hell is this? This is too intense. And then after uh, vaping on it, after getting drunk, I'm like, this is my go-to. And then, of course, time evolves, and it is what it is. The key word is we got drunk while vaping on that. Yeah, so, you know, we're going to stop blowing smock. <laughs> That's yeah. what we're doing right now is blowing smock. Good products, good tank, good device. Yep. If you're, on, if you're on the fence, get off the fence. Yeah, get off the fence. Well, what if Trump built the fence? You should be blowing smock too. <laughs> yeah, get off of Trump's fence. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that follow news. Anyway. Or, or his news. wall. Yeah. Or his wall, yeah. <laughs> Trump's wall. All right. So, guys, I think that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Buy this product. Six thumbs up. <laughs> Six thumbs up, right? Six. Two. Two, four, six. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> very nice. He's, he's drunk. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great night.